In this video, we're going to talk about spawns, shadow hunt, betrayal, and bullets await. You'll see exactly what I mean by the end of this issue. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of King Spawn, issue number 32, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Previously in King Spawn, Granny Blake has been kidnapped, and Spawn will tear through every demon hideout until he finds her. But we start off with this issue with Terry Fitzgerald, Wanda's ex-husband before Wanda disappeared on him. He's taking care of these two kids, and his two kids do not want him to go to work, but he's going to be late, so they ask him if they can please come with him. And Terry's like, not tonight, but you know what, I'll be back and tomorrow we'll do something fun. And obviously, I deal with this right here. This panel hits me hard because my day job is I work at a casino. So when I have to work Friday or Saturday nights, hey, my kids don't want to see me go. They want to see me home. So this hits home, you know what I mean? Or if I got to drop them off at the sitter, they don't want to go. They want daddy home. So they tell daddy, or at least the sitter tells Terry Fitzgerald to enjoy himself and she can stay late if he needs to be out longer to do what he needs to do. So while he's in the car with the party, Terry reflects on himself and he's like, man, I'm doing a crappy job balancing my life in the meantime. And the kids are missing their mother. The kids are missing my wife. I miss my wife. And it's really affecting and taking the toll on them. So his partner's like, yo, well, there's only one answer to that. Find a hot chick and marry her. And Terry's like, come on, big girl, you know you're a prick for doing that. All right then, well, she doesn't have to be that hot. Just find somebody, bruh. So in the party, in this networking function or wherever they're at, <laughs> you know, Terry don't want to be there. He'd rather be home. But before anything could get started, something has already gotten started. This guy puts on his ski mask and they know something's about to go down. And it does go down. And this lady asks Miguel, why you got the look on your face? Of course he has a look on his face. A gunfire just popped off. And another one pops off too, right at the killer's head. So we want to know, who did the killer pop his gun off to? Well, we have our answer, and it's Terry Fitzgerald as he lays there, just as he's reading a text saying, I hope you're having an enjoyable night, as blood drips from him. But you know what? Spawn is on the other end, wherever he's at, in the same town, across town, we don't know, but he's putting hands on people, and he's taking names, and you know Spawn is all about that business right now. And Spawn's like, you know what? I'm starting to get really pissed off, but not as much as this guy. Ask him what he did to your twin brother. And this is a reference to the previous issue, and this vampire is hungry for the business, and this demon's like man that wasn't my brother i swear to you that wasn't him so keep in mind even though he looks human that brother is a demon and the reason why he can't revert back to demon form he's all in human form because the dead zones are enveloped around earth and no one has powers at this point you gotta reference spawn issue number 350 to see what all that is about and spawn's like i don't give a damn what you call yourselves they give you demons human forms that make you look alike now you're stuck with that look and i've already killed one that looks like you i don't care if he is related or not you all look alike he didn't answer my easy question so i'm gonna ask you bruh who's your boss and this guy's like yo yo this like get this guy get this vampire off of me right now and because the vampires yo they kind of run this thing right now because they're the stronger of the species the demons and the angels are not stronger than the vampires right now so this guy answers spawn like i don't know who the boss is but it's open season on you hell spawns that's all i know Ah, oh, so because you lost your power, says Spawn, and Mrs. Blake, she was just to get my attention? Is that why you guys axed her? Well, there's a bounty on her head. Everyone's trying to claim it, all right? You really think you and I are equal, says Spawn? Oh, you are in for a treat. Because we're not equals. We're not the same. And the demon's like, but you're mortal just like the rest of us. Mortal? <laughs> that may be true, but not just quite. The thing is, I don't need powers to crush your skull. My anger will do that for me. So someone should tell them to stop trying me like I'm some kind of sample, all right? So before Spawn can let him know that he stands on business, well, ain't no letting him know. He's just going to let him know, hey, I'm standing on business right now. I am gouging your eyes in like that, and I'm going to give you a little crack on the skull, all right? But you'll live. So Spawn tells him, your brother sent me to an empty building, referencing the last issue in New Jersey. But now he's dead. Where's the old lady? At the docks, the cruise terminal, Pier 29. All right then. And Spawn slits his throat just a little bit, just to give his pet something to, you know, look forward to. Maybe dinner a little bit. And Spawn's like, I'll be back. Pray that I find Mrs. Blake and that the message I got isn't true. So six hours earlier, he made plans on how he was going to save Granny Blake and how those near her would suffer. So he walks around trying to figure it out and find out, but he hadn't planned on them lying to him. So he goes where he was told to go and he gets a text message. Your friend has been shot. And Spawn is way too distracted to even pay attention to that. These two guys in the meeting were like, yo, Simmons, his friend, he was killed, right? No, 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 no. The shooter was careful not to cross that line. But Terry Fitzgerald is in critical condition. 
Has Simmons attempted to visit him? No, not yet, bruh. I mean, Al is on priority number one to find Miss Blake. Oh, he'll be on fire when he does. And at that point, all signs need to point to the Kruger and his associates. That way, after Spawn finds Miss Blake and then he can finally visit Terry Fitzgerald in that hospital, we need to know because we need to point all direction to Kruger and his associates. And when that happens, we can get to Spawn like that. But there's one thing I know about Spawn. He's thorough. He'll do his homework. There won't be a rock he won't look under. So Spawn creeps up on this guy and tells the guy to play the tape again and zoom in. And he sees a clue on his wrist. And the thing about Spawn is when he finds what he needs, he'll come at his enemies with everything he has, knowing where some of them cluster. And he will be merciless when he finds them because time has become his enemy. He's yet to find Miss Blake. So this bum is like, yo, yo, please don't shoot. I was here hiding. I just heard it. That's it. Heard what, said Spawn. The screams. So after Spawn does what he needs to do, whatever he's going to do here, then he can go to the hospital and visit Terry Fitzgerald. But when Spawn asks him to show him what he's talking about, all Spawn sees is a trail of bodies. And he's going to be pissed because these people know that when Spawn goes looking for answers and the people that have those answers can't exactly give him those answers, which is the reason which you're looking at the panel right there. That's why they can't give him those answers. He's going to explode and he's going to take care of Kruger for them. And when Spawn takes care of Kruger, they will take care of Spawn. And that is the end of Keek Spawn issue number 32. Yo, that is a whole lot of plot seeding right there where Spawn's looking for something. They know he's looking for something, but Spawn doesn't know that they know that he's looking. And they're going to use Spawn to do his bidding. And when they do that, then that's when they're going to trap Spawn. I hope Spawn can catch on to it. But man, that is some plot seeding and some trickery right there. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below. Let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.